How are we doing everybody? This is Let's Be Real Brad. Today we will be talking about the 11th film in chronological order in our MCU Mondays as we go into our next film with Guardians of the Galaxy. The film was directed by James Gunn who would go on to direct the second film and the upcoming third film releasing in 2023. Guardians of the Galaxy is locked in as my second favorite MCU film as I don't think it is ever going to be moved. I love this movie so much because James Gunn took these unknown, less popular characters of the Marvel catalog and made them interesting, hilarious, and well-developed characters that everyone seems to love now, and rightfully so. So without further ado, let's dive right into the review starting with the positives. The cast is tremendous for this film with loads of big names of Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel, Dave Bautista, as the Guardians crew and Karen Gillian as Nebula. They are perfectly cast in their roles that have an incredible amount of chemistry together making for an excellent experience watching. Vin Diesel is fantastic only recording five lines for Groot being I am Groot which is pure comedy. The story is also great with feeling like its own separate story away from the rest of the MCU which helps this movie so much because it tells its own story with a new original characters as it doesn't feel strained to connect to the MCU. This movie still has those connections but it feels so natural and works for the story not making it feel forced in many other MCU films. The film has a genuine sense of adventure that takes you on this wild journey who is forced to be together for their own selfish reasons that make them team up to get what they all want over time they just start to care for one another developing a strong bond that was so believable and had a strong emotional backbone to the film the writing is also terrific with having one of the top five best screenplays of the whole mcu because james gunn wrote and directed the film with all his vision being played on the screen it is the funniest mcu film to date with being laugh out loud funny still to this day that has this sharp witty and snappy delivery from the actors great team effort all the way through the most significant aspect that catches me off guard with every watch is its strong emotional angle that might be one of the strongest of the entire series the opening scene establishes this in a sad heart-throbbing way that is a first for a marvel film honing this all in then in the movie's climax it also has a tearjerker that worked perfectly for the story and was delivered with perfection every aspect of this movie feels essential in all the different places we go to and never feels like there's a dull moment because because of Gunn's terrific and engaging writing and direction. You can tell that the film is heavily inspired by Star Wars for many aspects of this film, especially with the visual effects, makeup, and costume design. The visual effects are truly spectacular and mind-blowing, having the best visual effects up to this point in the MCU franchise. I could even argue it might be the best of the entire series. This could be because this film's budget did go over with being the most expensive MCU film up to this point with $252.3 million inflation. I do think it all paid off in that department. 96% of the film takes place in space, capturing all the beautiful futuristic world is entirely spontaneous. Explosions, space battle with loads of gigantic ships all look convincingly real, even look better on 4K Ultra HD. Characters of Rocket Raccoon and Groot are entirely CGI, being notable characters of the film. So the amount of work to capture them looking so damn realistic is quite impressive to say the least. They would take a ton of camera tricks like Gunn's brother Sean, who is also a henchman of Yondu in the film, running around performing all the lines in a green suit, which makes it so much easier for the actors to interact with, which makes the film look much more authentic in that aspect. The makeup and costume design are truly terrific as so much of this authentic world relies on the tremendous amounts of hours that went into the makeup department that looks stunning. Almost every side character we meet has some sort of extensive makeup that looks so realistic and carefully put together with tons of variety. The costume design goes along with that because they are a ton of variety because of all the different locations they go to where civilizations have their own clothing style that Gunn and the team have all written down just shows how much detail went into this film. The soundtrack of this film might be one of my all-time favorite soundtracks of all time. It combines exciting and fantastic 70s and 80s pop and rock songs that fit this movie perfectly and used so appropriately throughout. This movie is known for its incredible soundtrack with a banger after banger with not one bad song. This is something they take into the next film, hence the title with volume two in it. Hooked on a Feeling is my favorite song on the soundtrack where 
every time I listen to it, I instantly think of Guardians and most of the other songs on this soundtrack. The production design is just marvelous with the prison scenes at the beginning of the film it is entirely real, built from scratch, which is the film's most significant set. I genuinely have no idea how they built it with so many tiny details throughout that makes for the best scenes in the whole movie. A good chunk of this film is in studio with a green screen background, using loads of CGI, but still a lot of sets being built like the collector's room, which is iconic in the MCU with tons of fun and great Easter eggs, which showed how much James Gunn cared about the movie and the fans. The direction is also fantastic, capturing amazing shots that are still iconic and memorable to this day, especially this shot right here. Action scenes are almost perfect shots with precise cut editing that gave off so much energy and clarity to what was happening with the action. I do think it is one of the best shot and edited films of the entire series. The cinematography is also gorgeous with this being in the top five, at least with being one of the best looking Marvel films that doesn't have that same dull Marvel look that many of these films do have. It is so colorful and pops off the screen. If you didn't know much about the MCU and want to watch this movie, you wouldn't think it is a Marvel movie because it looks so gorgeous and feels like its own thing, which I'm glad that Marvel lets James Gunn have free reigns on this film. The film does have a few negatives starting with the main villain Ronin the Accuser. He is a standard typical bad guy who works for Thanos that doesn't do anything in this movie besides talking and trying to be intimidating. He isn't the main focus of the film, but is poorly undeveloped and completely uninteresting. All the scenes with just him are very dull and get worse on rewatches. The second negative is that there are a few moments where the film drags in certain areas. This is where the writing seems to become the more traditional MCU stuff we are used to seeing. It isn't really that bad because most of the screenplay is tremendous, so some of these moments stick out. Overall, this is definitely my second favorite MCU film because it has all the right ingredients to be a great film with feeling unique and special in its own way, with beautiful and tremendous technical aspects, fantastic writing, and awesome unknown characters that are some of the best of the whole series that I am so excited to be getting more of in the future. To top it off, it is the funniest movie that has incredible and exciting action that leaves me itching to re-watch the next one. I am giving this film an 8 out of 10. So, let me know what you thought of Guardians of the Galaxy and where it ranks in your MCU rankings. Before you check out of this video, go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Next week, we will be doing our 12th film in chronological order with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, so be sure to check it out before next week's review. As always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.